somewhere in Oregon. We've been traveling for a while. I'm almost out of gas, but there hasn't been any gas stations in forever. And uh, I'm so hungover, I'm sunburnt, and I think I'm getting a cold. So, I, I don't know, I'm feeling ragged, ragged. But um, only seven more hours of traveling to get back home. So, <sighs> all right, what the fuck is this? It's like half a water wheel. Yeah. It's not gonna work very well, guys. Oh no, there's a full there's thing. A full thing? Holy shit. Wow. No water. No. So yeah, they're still doing something wrong. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, that looks sketch. Right. Another little door. There's some Blair Witch shit in here. <laughs> Stand in the corner. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, huh. I ain't going to cross that, but fuck. Another trail over there. Yeah. Well. Oh, well. Say la vie. I guess that's how life treats you, you know? Yeah. No matter what you do. Someone's taking a shit. You make the most beautiful shit ever. Someone's taking You're going to die. Yeah, yeah. You're going <laughs> to die. and just going to shit all over everything you did. <laughs> yeah. Might as well make a business out of it. Yeah. Here we go. Positivity. We're about positivity. <laughs> and rest areas. So we just saw a sign that said scenic viewpoint. Here it is. Oh. What's that? Oh. <laughs> kind of feels like it should be like this is blocking the view somehow. Yeah. <laughs> We're at a scenic viewpoint, but I don't know. This is, I guess it's scenic. You kind of look that way more. Like where that truck is way over there. That looks more like a scenic viewpoint. That does look more like a scenic viewpoint. That's still pretty. It's an excuse to stop driving. Right. So we're back in Washington. Last one I think was in Oregon. So now we're right. still like two hours from Seattle. Just outside of Ellensburg. Oh. oh. <laughs> And back home in Seattle. And really not much more to film here. I thought I'd get in a little bit earlier, but I think I'm just gonna go and have a couple beers and edit this footage. So uh, yeah, nothing too thrilling. Uh, I was hoping to see some more scenic spots, but it was getting late and we wanted to get home, so we stopped stopping places. It took like eight hours or so, eight to nine hours, to get from Boise. And uh, it wasn't really tough driving at all until we got to Snoqualmie Pass. Then everyone was driving like a freaking maniac for no good fucking reason whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, it was all just great driving until we got close to King County. And that just fucked everything up. Just fucked it all up. <laughs> anyway, I had a blast. I don't know, going to Boise, it's such a long drive. I, I really hope in the future, if we ever go to this Boise Hemp Fest again, that you know we get a show that's halfway there on Friday night. Then get another show that's halfway there, coming back on a Sunday night, and I just take off work on Monday, take off work Friday, take off work Monday, do those shows, and you know make like a miniature tour out of it. Sorry, my uh, laundry's going in the background, so that's the noise you're hearing right now. But I had fun. I, I cannot say that I didn't have fun. But man, you know, driving 16 hours in one weekend, ooh, that's that's rough. Anyway, I love you. I hope you had a great, wonderful, awesome weekend, and I hope your Monday is fucking amazing. I love you. You're great. Mwah. Go be amazing.